Starbeams Audio. Thank you for listening to the Starburns Audio Podcast Network. We have so many great comedy shows to add to your playlist. Just last week on Starburns Audio, on the season two premiere of Humans Who Make Games, Adam Conover talks to comedian Ron Funches and Jean Goudon, creative director of the Assassin's Creed series. On Boogie Monster, Cal Kinane and Dave Stone share a perfect recipe for the quarantined cook. This week on Profiles and Eccentricity, they cover the history of the Khorasan Unity Cult, folks for whom a flat earth is ridiculous because they believe it's really a concave shell. Search Starburns Audio on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or any podcast platform for our full list of shows featuring hosts like Joe Coy, Amanda Seals, Jessica Chobot, and Jackie Johnson. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Starburns Audio. Enjoy the show. Stay safe. Stay healthy and keep laughing. Dan and Rand and Jay will share tales of folks so unaware they lack in grace and sometimes choose the life they choose will make the news. Breaking down each epic fail in Florida, there's half price mail. I'm happy to say they could so listen to our podcast jam with co-host Arne and Dan. Then first, don't be a jerk, because when the music gets the funny hits, and we are gonna take you down. Stick around. Make a sound, down, it's Dumb People Town. Hey, townies, welcome to another episode of Dumb People Town. Population you. It gets cooler more the more. Oh, it does. And we I got a great it. one today. Oh, uh, this is a beaut. He's an old friend, a hilarious comedian, and you will recognize his voice most likely as Crow T Robot on the reboot of MST3K. God dang! Hampton <laughs> Yant. Hampton Yant. Hello, sir. How are Hello, you? babies. It's so good. Are to people see you recognizing I'm an your voice? Voice? I'm an, no, out in the world. <laughs> Less my face, but people will stop me across the crowded street That's and run. Oh my god, are you the third crow <laughs> of a minorly popular show? By the way, it is not minorly popular at all. The second crow was Bruce Lee's son, right? <laughs> yes. I can't believe he died in the shooting was, of that. I believe it was Eddie Furlong, <laughs> who does not look good. Have you seen him recently, Eddie yeah. Furlong? Well, that should have been fur like, short. He's like, <laughs> should have gone fur short. That's a record. Under three minutes to the Carson impression. <laughs> Eddie, is that Eddie a regular? Fur, Eddie Furlong is so big. How big is he? He's now called uh, Eddie Two Furlongs. That's two, two times around the trend. Uh, terrible. Uh, so uh, what we do on this show, if you don't know, is uh, Dan gets stories. Hi, Dan Van Kirk. Hey, buddy. Van Kirk. How are you? Uh, sent to him by our wonderful listeners. We do. We have not heard the stories. Hampton, Hampton hasn't heard the stories. I've barely I read them. I don't read the news. <laughs> I'm barely literate. <laughs> <laughs> and we get to riff on them because uh, it's dumb people doing dumb things. And we all sort of agree that our nation is getting dumber by the, the minute. The world is getting dumber. And the only way to combat it is through comedy and through trying to understand it and make peace with it and have fun with it. Uh, Daniel, you doing well, by the way? Oh, I'm doing phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Phenomenally. 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 No, I'm just doing. Just doing. doing phenomenal. Phenomenal. Let me finish. Her name is Phenomenal. Oh! <laughs> She's a stripper. She's actually not a stripper. I, I, I've been watching the movie Phenomena. <laughs> how, how have I been doing? What if I've been watching the movie Phenomena. Phenomena. Her name is Phenomenal, and she's uh, going to medical school to put her way through stripping. <laughs> yeah, she wants to go. To, she wants to become a doctor to pay for her stripping. Phenomena. John Travolta movie. Phenomenon. Right? Phenomenon, yeah. Yes, where he's an angel? No, no, that's, that's where Michael. he has brain cancer. That's oh, Michael. That's Michael. That's yeah, Michael. Brain cancer. But the theme song to Michael was Phenomenon. <laughs> Got a brain tumor. I thought there was like a three movie set of Phenomenon, Michael, Michael mm-hmm. and Powder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To me, like yes. those were all released and they're like, just we need the that. next Phenomenon. Well, can the guy be white? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Powder. Well, we can make him even whiter than oh, that. He's would, an angel. I would dare say any movie you're talking about someone says can the guy be white <laughs> I mean, that was even with uh, like here's a whole spiel uh, about, like same thing i know sure. it's a story about a slave but can he be white he i know i don't want to tell you your business but, but can uh, 
I'll know, be white. I know in the comic book, <laughs> and his name's it's Carl. an Asian woman, uh-huh. but can and he she? be white? It's a she. <laughs> it's not even a. All right, he. Dan. Get, let's get to a story, Dan. Okay. Get There's it. nothing more woke though than four white straight dudes <laughs> talking about, about white, dude, dude, white I'm not diverse casting. <laughs> woke AF. Woke right. AF. You want to do a story? Let's do it. Here we go. This was sent in by Andy Russell at the Russell Four the. R U S S E L L four. Thanks, Andy Russell. What he did, and if you want to be like him, he was the first person to send me the story. That's why he got picked. Mm-hmm. And he said at Daniel Van Kirk on Twitter, hashtag Dumb People Town. Check out this story, mm. and that's how we I got it. here. Nice. That's our dumb people on the ground. Yes, <laughs> dumb ears on the ground. <laughs> They're in dumb action choppers across the city, (laughs) crashing into each other. Dumb boots on the ground. (laughs) Uh, A naked man. So we know. Coming in hot. (laughs) Coming in hot. Germany or Florida. (laughs) (laughs) Running around downtown Fort Lauderdale, Florida. (laughs) On Tuesday Tuesday (laughs) afternoon. Five miles in any direction. That's Florida to me. Don't go five miles. You talk to anybody like, don't go five miles down Okeechobee. Right. Don't go five miles out this oh, way. You I'm don't like want to go up to o- Okie Pinocchio Swamp there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the beach. They're like, don't go five miles out into the water. Mm-mm. Don't go five miles out of the water. Yeah, there's a meth lab out there. A floating meth lab? It's a floating garbage island, and they've set a meth lab up on it. <laughs> and it's on fire. Funny it's thing, the meth fire. lab came first. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> It's the old uh, adage, which came first, uh, the floating garbage island of the meth lab. It's chicken and egg situation. Egg. A naked man running around downtown Fort Lauderdale on Tuesday afternoon was enough on its own to turn heads, but there was more. No. no. How do you how? get more? Also, this is how you know. <laughs> what things, on him is burning? Things have gotten so passe in Florida, they need Herpes. to hook you right away. <laughs> yeah. To be like, guys, yes, another naked so man. So a naked but- man was running through. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go anywhere because it gets crazy. Yeah, there's more. <laughs> I know it's boring. You're falling asleep. <laughs> the mayor was naked through town again. Take that Werther's out of your mouth before you nod <laughs> off. <laughs> but there was more, they say. According to the FBI, we're going. So now this, this is, is a federal, federal issue. <laughs> Yeah. Our grandmother used to say to us whenever we'd make a big deal and start going, don't make a federal case about it. Don't make a federal case out of this. This <laughs> is a naked federal case. I yeah. love that grandma, for her, there was like a hierarchy as to, <laughs> if we made a state's case Look, out of it, she would have been okay make, with it. I know you're angry that you guys didn't get to watch TV. That is a local issue. Take it up with your alderman. <laughs> if you could stop subpoenaing me. <laughs> do not make it. Do not like drive that. across <laughs> state lines to Illinois and make a federal case yeah, out of this. Sick you kids and your municipal problems. <laughs> All right, what does he do? What, what gets the FBI involved? Yeah. According to the FBI, <laughs> he had robbed a bank and was throwing st- throwing <laughs> stolen money at people, making a even bigger spectacle. It should be and, but and we're not making here to a even bigger <laughs> spectacle. Making an even bigger nope, spectacle. Nope, I like a even bigger. <laughs> That's making fine. a We're even in dumb people. So He's like a Batman villain at this yeah. point. I yes. mean, but <laughs> he's just he, thrown naked man. So he robs a bank. 40 bucks come flying your way when you weren't expecting it. You'll you'll give I'll a pass that money on the balls. Anybody. Yep. On the ball flap, you'll give a pass. I'll give a what for as he people. runs back. Just yeah. the tip. Just the tip. He's tipping them for watching him get naked. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> the reverse tip. One time when I was. A, I kind of love this guy. One time when I was a kid and um, not as svelte, mm-hmm. I was at Six Flags and I thought it'd be. I was with a group of friends and uh, I thought it'd be funny to tell one of the carnival worker guys. I go, uh, I go, hey, give me a dollar. I'll take off my shirt. And that guy looked at me and goes, give me a dollar, keep that shirt on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. I felt so, I'm like, you got me. You got me. <laughs> but I will take that dollar, send it over. And uh, I took that dollar and this is the same shirt. <laughs> Taking it off. <laughs> I turned that dollar into nothing. See, it as a parent today, I'm like, at least he didn't abduct you. <laughs> yeah. I, was like, I thought oh, no, you were going to say, I'll give you a dollar. Oh, uh, I lived in a cell underneath his bed. <laughs> I liked it there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? Do we call this guy because he's taking money from the rich to give them for it? If he has a boner, do we call him Robin <laughs> Wood? <laughs> At Squar Brothers. Oh, oh, Robin Wood. Oh, how about Robin Wood? Robin Williams? Maybe uh, in another episode, we'll just have you guys be Carson while Hampton is Robin <laughs> Williams. Is, uh, the the cocaine the will seep through the floorboards. <laughs> yes, it will. All right, here we go. Ready for this guy's name? Because it's perfect. Alexander Hayden Sperber. Alexander Hayden Sperber. 
of Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> My name is Alexander Hayden. <laughs> uh-uh. Hayden. <laughs> <laughs> There's a million th- dollars I haven't given. And I'm the man who <laughs> fucked him. <laughs> just, <laughs> just you wait. Just you wait. Rand, you deep in Hamilton? Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> For the listeners at home, Randy waited My in line. My name is Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> four hours with his daughter. Was it four? Seven. Four. Eight. Eight hours. Eight, eight hours for, for tickets, tickets and got me two tickets that I don't even appreciate. <laughs> and I damn don't intend on God appreciating. Damn him. <laughs> I promise. I'm with you, man. Thanks, bro. This is phenomenal for anybody who listens to it's Hamilton. Phenomenon? It's is phenomenon. Is it as good as phenomenon? It's phenomenon. No, don't you dare. Alexander Hamilton. Hey, Herbert. Okay. Alexander Hamilton. You ready, guys? Herber. Yes. Damn kids. Alexander Hayden Sperber of Fort Lauderdale parked his red Ford Mustang, aka he's a dick, uh-huh. near a Regions Bank branch at 100 Southeast 3rd Avenue. Add that to the Dumb People Town <laughs> walking, walking Tour. <laughs> if you're new to the show, we have a map where you can go to every location that yep. every one of these Throw stories the, has ever happened. You know those like Navy commercials where they're like showing you different uh, landscapes <laughs> and there's like a giant red pin in the background yeah. and you're like, ah, and then it pops out this map. This yep. is there is doing. a dumb version of that. Yes. <laughs> That's where the Army's recruited. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's where the naked people well, are running. It's where they're getting the good numbers. Alexander Hayden Sperder, Sperber. That don't make a difference. <laughs> he went in about 3.06 p.m. About 3.06 p.m. I mean, around that this time. Is, I'm yeah, not, not, not going to get specific. We're not getting on I'm the not making a federal yeah. case out of it. About. <laughs> about. He then decided to extend his index finger as if to depict a gun, pointed at the teller, and according to a frim- criminal complaint, asked her for money. Now, is he naked now? No. Okay, he's got okay. clothes on. But he just does Blended the hand. Finger, finger yes. and hand. That probably came with the Mustang, right? Like, one yeah. of those. <laughs> <laughs> if the you're, finger gun, the, now, the guy who sells you the car hands yeah. you a finger gun. <laughs> yep. so Ooh, you, you yours now. You can have, have one of these on the house, the bro. Hope you have a license for one of these. And then he turns into a pillar There of is salt. an interest rate on that finger handgun as well. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sperber told the teller he would hurt her and others if his needs weren't met. She <laughs> sexually, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she put approximately seven thousand five hundred dollars in the bag he handed her, along with a dye pack and <laughs> a bait bill. She's really loading What's him a bait up. Bill? Bait bill means if he pays, pays it with any oh, pays okay. it anywhere and it tracks, money, back, tracks to right back to gotcha. him. Oh really? Yeah. In my mind, there was like a little GPS computer attached to oh, the back maybe. of the bill. Hoping, maybe. No, no, I you're thought, right. My I literally thought dumb. it was Think when you just it. tie like a piece of string to a dollar bill and you make someone go down. Just the see where he goes. Yeah, there's a dollar bill. <laughs> you know, like a juice pour rear bit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quit talking. The fish are sleeping. As Alexander Hayden Sperber left the bank. The dye pack exploded. Ah. In my mind, he took three steps towards the door. <laughs> and then, boom. <laughs> yes. Getting ready. All over his gun finger. Now, there's a little wrinkle in what I'm about to tell you and all of our listeners that, to me, just ups the comedy a little mm-hmm. bit. The dye pack exploded, getting red dye all over his clothing. And his face. His hand. And the cast on his wrist. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. I know. <laughs> so he's injured. Yeah. Yes. He's got okay. a busted wig. He's walking around like DiCaprio in The Departed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so nervous. Yeah. This is a high stakes operation oh, if I've geez. ever heard one. Yes. Maybe he's trying to pay for an operation. And that's Are you when- a cop? You a cop? Are you a fucking you a cop? Fucking fucking cop? cop? Am I a fucking cop? Did you not? Know? Are we cops? Is it? What is this? Is this a police station? I'll tell you what, you aren't gonna be. You aren't gonna be no fucking truth. Oh! I'll tell you that right now, okay? You come in here. Oh, you live down south here for on the weekends, visiting your daddy after your yeah. parents got divorced. Yeah. And then you're living up on the north with her. Okay? You're like not a fucking cops, okay? I know who you are, okay? Dude, I've seen you come down here. Nobody has a fucking cop. Right. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Who's a firefighter? Up. Who's a firefighter? You want to get in a no, fight in the street in front of Little Italy just because you had a good time at the theater? <laughs> hanging outside of the Wilbur. You think you're a big man. Want to go down to the club because you saw someone dancing there one time? And so you think you're a big fighter, but you grab that first bottle, don't you? And you break it over anybody's head that you can. And you know why? Because you're nothing but a phony. And you know what you'll never be? You'll never be no fucking Boston. You'll never be a mass trooper. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Masters of Boston. Yeah. Masters of Boston. I made up a monologue I barely remember. <laughs> sure. Okay, here we go. <sighs> he left the bank. Gets red dye all over his brand new cast. Yep. Uh-huh. 
And that's when he made his I would memorable. Say the red, the red <laughs> dye was cast at that point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's when he made his memorable appearance on Las Olas Boulevard. Authorities say, let me ask you this. When he took off all his clothes because he was covered in red dye, sure. do you think he also looked for a place to throw the finger gun? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get rid of this. No, first you discharge it, then yeah, you throw it. You can't just clear the chamber. Yeah, yeah. take the cannoli. Throw. Yep. throw the fingers. Covered in spent dye. Twenty two minutes trying to rub off the cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Covered in dye. Alexander Hayden Sperber. Alexander Hayden Sperber. <laughs> you, you guys. If you're loving that bit, it's at Sklar Brothers. <laughs> Not bad. It's a really good bit. No, I, that's what I'm saying. Only if you love it. <laughs> Alexander Hayden Sperber removed his clothes and ran naked down Los Alas Boulevard, throwing the money into the air as he ran. To me, this is like... Joyous. Yeah, this is what Liberace wanted to do. This is a Florida parade. <laughs> this is technically a Florida parade. <laughs> Yippee! Counts as a parade. <laughs> Witness... Witnesses who captured the bizarre scene on camera said he was throwing out $150 bills. I don't think there is a $150 bill. You know who's on $100? Okay, so who's on the $100 bill is Benjamin Franklin. You know who's on the $150 bill? (laughs) Alexander Hayden Burbard is. For the listener, I just use Bitcoin. I don't. Andy no. He was throwing Bitcoin around. <laughs> he was Venmoing everyone he saw <laughs> with his phone, just stray Venmoing. You get one fifty. You, you get one fifty. <laughs> you get one fifty. What's your address? I'm not throwing away my shot. <laughs> Witness. <laughs> Drew Armstrong (laughs) told WSVN Channel 7 Mm -hmm. he saw Sperber but couldn't really believe what his eyes were telling him. I didn't believe the eyes inside of Moscow. (laughs) Do your eyes talk to you? How dumb is that person? (laughs) This is what he says. And then this lady passed me and I asked her, was he naked? And she's like, yeah, he was naked. (laughs) That's all in the article? Yes. Um, It's just good journalism. It's good writing. It's the true detective of this town. (laughs) Was he in there? I, I, I believe I just saw something with my oculars. <laughs> Fort Lauderdale police arrested Alexander Hayden Sperber <laughs> near 800 Northeast Fort Street. Add that. And they wrapped him in a yellow tarp. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like a giant taco with, with salsa. Yeah. <laughs> giant taco who yeah. just ran a Money marathon. Taco. Yeah, Two Money more taco. fun things here. After his arrest, I always say this, there's one, one sentence that gets something right into Dumb People Town. Here it is. Sperber told a special agent that when he woke up Tuesday morning, he decided, quote, to rob a bank, flee by running naked down the street while throwing money that he stole during the bank robbery to people in order to begin his career as a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Most people got, just go to an open mic. <laughs> yes. I got bumped for this guy? <laughs> yep. This guy? And yep. he's opening at the improv on <laughs> Guys, Tuesday night. You, you've seen him on Oliveira Street. Yep. Boy. You've, you've seen it up. him at the bank. <laughs> he's been on Action News. <laughs> he's been on SEN Action 7 News. And. And Comics Unleashed. And Comics Unleashed. <laughs> Byron, Byron, Allen. Byron Allen. You can't put a leash on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Out of concern. It is Alexander Hayden's <laughs> Out of concern for his health, they called paramedics who took him to the Broward Health Medical Center. Doctors there found him to be conscious, coherent, and uninjured. He was charged with one count of robbery. His lawyer could not be identified. We're going to get out of here on this. I'm going to ask you guys, mm-hmm. how old Ooh. is Alexander, Alexander Hayden Sperber? Can I make guess? Yes. You get to decide if you want to go first, first or third, or, or Tig, Tig Nataro in the middle. <laughs> she chose. Second. She chose in the middle. I'm gonna between. go. I'm gonna go first. Okay, because I it. have a theory. Okay, yes. the Hayden. In the mm-hmm, name, uh-huh. he has to be younger. Okay. So I'm going to go with like 32. Okay, wow. 32 from Hampton. Yeah, Randy Sklar. Uh, I'm going to say 48. 48. Just because I think he's making the decision. He, he's seen enough stand-up comedy in his time to be like, I could do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let Jason me go about Sklar. it in the most roundabout this, this way. This is the act of a 23-year-old idiot. Okay. This is I, I agree with Hampton that it's young, but this is this is I'm out of whatever mm-hmm. uh, six-year college program I just did. <laughs> right. And now and FIU. I'm, and now I'm ready. Yep. At Florida Atlantic Gulf Coast well, University. Well, Mountain Dew Factory isn't hiring. So here I go. <laughs> All right. 
Everybody who's listening in Dumb People Town with us, feel free to play along at home. Alexander Hayden Sperber is 25 years old. Oh, what did I say? And here's a a picture of him. Anybody who listens to this story, look at him. Look at him. He He looks looks like like he's in Twilight. (laughs) No, he looks like the kid that they found dead in Stand By Me. Yeah, Ray Brower laying by the track. Only he somehow looks less alive than that. (laughs) Now, you might be saying to yourself, if you're listening, I want to see what he looks like. Then go over to the Dumb People Town Facebook page. All of these get posted up there. Is he wearing Rouge? waiting for you whenever you hear this. He's wearing Rouge. He's wearing Bruges. I think he's wearing pavement. I love it. I love it. That's that's a great story from Dumb People Town. Before we get out of here, uh, we got a voicemail. You know, we were kicking around Boston accents and, you know, we got a voicemail from Mark Wahlberg, who was in that movie, was a fan, obviously, of uh, he's a close friend of this show. And he wants to give us a little bit of lesson, a lesson about how to use the Boston accent and how to properly use it. You have one new voice message. What's up, Tunes? It's Wahlberg here. Obviously, you knew that already. I just want to tell you guys, you were talking a little bit of Boston. That's fine. Here's the deal. Don't try. You don't, if you're trying to talk like it, everybody knows. You do this. You kind of whisper angrily. That's all it is. Feel like you don't want to say the words, but you're being forced to because the person you're talking to thinks they're better than you. But they're not better than you. They were just born somewhere else. And that's their problem. Not yours. All right, go see Daddy's Home 2. Me and Will Ferrell are in it. I kill that movie. Wow. Ah, Good plug for that. Uh, Pharrell? Will (laughs) Will Pharrell. Will Pharrell Williams. Uh, I love Will Pharrell Williams. Well, this was uh, super fun. Thank you, Hampton Yount. Thanks for having me. Uh, Check him out. Yeah, follow him on Twitter. Check him out on the the reboot of MSD3K, which is You Are Hilarious. And Randy got to see you live. I got to see it live in in front of uh, Packed House at the Ace Hotel. Fuck it! We'll do it live! It was amazing. (laughs) You were so funny. and and I was so happy you got to come out, man. That was so much fun. I took my daughter and she loved it. That was like (laughs) a great moment to be like, oh yeah, it crosses all all things. Well, that's uh, that's a little episode of Dumb People Town. If you like this, you can check us out every Tuesday on iTunes. Yep. Dumb People Town. Subscribe. uh, Subscribe. Subscribe, rate it, review it, and we'll see you there. Uh Uh-oh, guys, we got to get back to work. Get back to work. Stick around, make a sound, hunger down, it's dumb people town.